Hey folks, I wanted to pop on real quick and I wanted to not only let you know about a second wave of uh, some pretty crazy attacks on Hezbollah, um, but I also wanted to clear up there's a lot of misinformation and stuff out there as to uh, what had happened with the pagers previously to this. This is a new attack that you're looking at now. This is a second wave, so check this out. Says latest wave of walkie-talkie explosions hits Lebanon. Walkie-talkies used by the Hezbollah paramilitary group simultaneously exploded throughout Lebanon on Wednesday in a continuation of an apparent sabotage operation by Israel that killed 12 people and wounded thousands on Tuesday. The blasts were first reported by Lebanese media with al Haddad TV network claiming that at least 100 people had been injured. A Lebanese security force to or source told Reuters that handheld radios, these are handheld radios, used by Hezbollah members, exploded in Beirut and throughout southern Lebanon, a region controlled by the paramilitary force. At least one of the explosions took place at a funeral procession for four people who were killed when their pagers exploded on Tuesday, Reuters reported. At least a dozen people were killed, including two children, and more than 3,000 were injured when their pagers, a low-tech and supposedly secure method of communication, spontaneously detonated on Tuesday. Lebanese security officials blamed Israel's Mossad intelligence agency, while U.S. and Israeli sources told Axios that Mossad had indeed rigged the devices to explode several months ago. Mossad planned to blow up the pagers in the event of an all-out war with Hezbollah, but decided to detonate them early in case the explosive charges were discovered, an American official told Axios. The handheld radios that exploded on Wednesday were purchased in bulk at the same time as the pagers that detonated on Tuesday, a security source told Reuters. So, let me, let me just point some stuff out here. <clears throat> Number one, do you need to fear that your cell phone is going to spontaneously blow your titty off? No, you, you don't need to worry about that. Your titty's safe. However, <laughs> what happened here was, okay, your, your telephone has a battery in it that can get really nasty if it wants to. And so, <clears throat> there are a couple of things that can lead to this. Um, one of them would be a charger malfunction. Now, that won't cause like an explosion. That can cause a fire. And I want to point you in the direction of different uh, mobile devices that have had issues that have caught fire and... Um, I'm trying to think there's a model of, uh, I think Samsung had a Note model or something that was nasty about that. <clears throat> but there's been a rash of, of fires using the same types of battery technology, even with hoverboards, e-bikes, stuff like that. So, um, fires do happen from this type of battery technology. Fires, not explosions. Not like this. So, what they had done is they had put an explosive on the battery okay from my understanding they had put an explosive on the battery now if they could and i'm just kind of speculating but based on a little bit of information that's out in the open if you could send an update say to the firmware for the battery charging on that particular device you can cause that battery to do whatever you wanted it to do now all they would have to do would be send out an update a firmware update for the battery charging part of that pager or walkie-talkie and what will happen is they can cause that battery to essentially short itself out and put itself in a situation to catch on fire. Now, that fire that results from that battery would be more than enough to be able to ignite that explosive. So you see, that's how this is working. 
I've heard a few people talk about it, and they try to go into depth about, oh, how there was time between uh, when when the signal was sent before it would, so that would be, they were holding it in the front of their face. No, here's the thing. It takes a little bit for that to go off. So I'm not saying that they didn't set the um, the pagers up to go off so that they wouldn't have, you know, or so that they would have pulled it out of their pocket or whatever and been looking at it. That's probably a fact. But the truth of the matter is, is it's going to take a little bit from the time that they do whatever it is to that that charging system on that battery to cause that battery to to you know basically catch on fire. <clears throat> That's going to take a little bit. So um, who knows how it all shook out? But but apparently it did a good job of working, um, and. I would assume that the walkie-talkies probably did a, a good job of working as well. Uh, information, of course, is still coming out on this walkie-talkie situation as well as the pager situation. Keep an eye on it. Don't freak out. Your phone's not going to blow your titty off. Um, but, you know, let, let lessons be learned where lessons can be learned here, especially when it comes to... <laughs> Buying bulk items for clandestine operations. So if you're in that position of buying bulk items for clandestine operations, I would tell you maybe you might want to worry about your titty getting blown off. But everybody else should be okay. <laughs> Man, some messed up times we're in. Just keep your eyes on on stuff. Um what have I been doing? Well, I'll roll in a, just a short video of what uh, I've been up to. So, took on a, a little bit of adventure here locally. And so, that's what I've been up to. Been playing some VTOL VR, stuff like that. But I'm still watching the news. I'm still watching the news just as much as I would any other time. So, anyway, I'll roll in this beautiful bean footage and uh, I will catch you later. Shalom.